Leo, you know something, I prompted, hoping that he would finally give in and tell me the meaning behind these premonitions. Spill. As much as I would love to be the know-it-all vizier you seem to think I am today, it's just not so. The Marigold Witches have never had the ability to see into the future. I do believe that there was a coven in Minnesota that contained a family of seers, but I haven't spoken to any of the other coven's familiars since the day my beloved Rosemary was excommunicated from ours. I'd been watching Leo very closely as he gave his answer, and I could admit that he almost had me with his reply. He'd even thrown in facts about a coven in Minnesota, knowing full well that the history of other covens fascinated me. I knew how to play this game, though. I didn't say another word. I simply sipped my coffee and continued to stare at him until that left whisker began to tick a little faster than the second hand on the large wall clock. I won the staring contest after 16 seconds. Fine, I'll confess. I might have knocked one of the potions you made onto the dream catcher we keep on the bottom shelf of the hutch. There, are you happy now? I'll have you know that I had Ted clean up every drop of purple goo. You knocked over a... I couldn't even begin to finish my sentence, because the ramifications of mixing a magical potion with a supernatural artifact were beyond horrifying. Leo, please tell me it wasn't the dream catcher we found at the antique shop, the one with that lone pentagon in the middle of it. I can only guess at its origins. Okay, I won't tell you that. Leo rolled backward sniffing at the empty bag of treats that Beetle had left behind. He groaned when he was reminded of the fact that it was empty, and stayed in that spot as he attempted to talk his way out of a very troublesome problem. The complications resulting from such a snafu was overwhelming. Purple goo, I whispered to myself, attempting to trigger a memory of which concoction had been that particular color. We had weekly, and sometimes more often, lessons regarding witchcraft. It had only been in the last month or so that we'd included basic potions into the mix, although I definitely preferred my magical tea leaf blends over liquid vials. The purple potion was for the house plants, Leo. It was only created to provide them more nourishment and give them the ability to grow. Exactly, Raven. That's why I didn't mention it. I mean, what are the odds of me knocking a purple vial of potion onto an ancient supernatural relic, only to then have you become some type of psychic? By this time, Leo had managed to roll back on his side so that he was once again facing me. We both stared at each other in contemplation, simply to realize his theory is exactly what had happened. Oh, Leo, we might be in real trouble here. <laughs>